Have you ever been in a high pressure situation in need of a little guidance on how to proceed? When faced with emergencies, it's human nature to be reactive rather than thoughtful or critical in your thinking. The way technology is designed can either be set up for failure or success. This is true in general, but especially the case in intense environments like an operating room or the cockpit of a plane. For example, in aviation, there's a device known as a precision approach path indicator that gives pilots critical information as they're about to land. It does so by continuously projecting combinations of red and white light from both sides of the runway. Four red means you're too low, four white lights means you're too high. If there are two red and two white lights, you know you're on the perfect path to land. The lights are always present and always providing information, but unless you're facing the runway, they're hidden from view. As a designer and pilot, the PAPI is one of my favorite examples of calm technology. It communicates the information a pilot needs at the very moment they need it, without hijacking their attention. It's what I first thought of when I learned about calm technology. The concept of calm technology dates back to the 1990s. Back then, a group of researchers at Xerox were already thinking about a future when technology would be ubiquitous. They predicted the need for calm technology. Some of my favorite calm technology principles to apply to product design are, technology should make use of the periphery. Technology can communicate, but it doesn't need to speak. The right amount of technology is the minimum needed to solve the problem. At the center of calm technology lies a statement written by Amber Case. A person's primary task should not be computing, but being human. Can you think of examples of technology that do a good job of demanding less of our attention and not more?